The Plurivac pneumonectomy balanced drainage unit is a sterile, single-use device intended for post-operative care. It consists of three interconnected chambers, collection, negative pressure indicator, and positive pressure control. The unit is not to be connected to suction, nor are its contents to be reinfused. What is the rationale for the pneumonectomy unit? The Plurivac pneumonectomy unit limits the patient pressure between the levels of where the negative and positive pressure columns are filled with water. The usual fill levels are minus 13 centimeters in the negative pressure column and 1 centimeter in the positive pressure column. Therefore, the patient, when attached to the unit, is limited to between minus 13 centimeters and plus 1 centimeter of pressure. When either of these two levels is attained by the patient, air enters the appropriate U-tube column chamber, bringing in atmospheric air and limiting the patient pressure to that level. This was designed to limit excessive negative or positive pressure attainment in the affected patient space. How is this product different from using a traditional water seal drainage unit without suction on? Gravity. Traditional water seal or one-way valve products enable the patient under gravity drainage to attain greater than 20 centimeters of negative pressure before breaking and allowing air to enter and reduce the negative pressure. For instance, observe a traditional water seal unit. When attached to a patient without suction on, the fluid in the small arm of the seal will attain 20 centimeters. The fluid level will extend above 20 centimeters until it breaks at a value above minus 20 centimeters. The pneumonectomy unit limits negative pressure to the height of the water, i.e. 13 centimeters of water. Will I see constant or intermittent bubbling in the negative pressure column? You will see bubbling in the negative pressure column if, when the patient attains negative pressure equal to the height of the fluid, i.e. 13 centimeters. This may occur with or without the presence of a volume ventilator system or other external factor. If you do not see any bubbling in the blue negative pressure column, that indicates the patient pressure is below minus 13 centimeters of water and is common. You may see some fluctuation in the column with respiration. What happens if I tip the unit over? This is a water system with fluid in both the red and blue columns. Fluid can migrate among chambers and from the unit. To correct tip over, upright the product and assess the patient and unit. Either refill the unit or replace the unit per hospital protocol. Where is the floor stand? The floor stand consists of two white plastic triangles that snap into place under the unit between the sections of the unit. Are there tethered caps at the top of the red and blue columns where fluid is filled? The tethered caps at the top of the red and blue columns act only as mufflers for less noise, but are not included with this unit. How long can a unit be on a patient? The duration that this unit can be used on a patient is at the discretion of the surgeon. During patient transport, use the two hangers on top of the unit. Hold unit below level of thoracic catheter and ensure fluid levels are maintained. Do not clamp patient tube unless directed by the surgeon. It's important to note there is no suction control column with this unit. The blue column chamber is a negative pressure chamber and not suction control. Do not block or cover the atmospheric vent at the top of either the blue chamber or the red chamber. Remove the two detachable white floor stand supports. At the two locations at the bottom marked with a triangle, Insert one floor stand support firmly into place. Prepare a 500 milliliter bottle of sterile saline or sterile water to fill unit. Fill the blue negative pressure column through the atmospheric vent on top of the blue column to the prescribed height, usually minus 13 centimeters of water as indicated by the dotted line. Fill the red positive pressure column through the atmospheric vent on top of the red column to the prescribed level usually one centimeter, as indicated by the dotted line. Remove and discard the protective cap on Plurivac patient tube connector. Eliminate and discard. Connect the patient drainage tube to the patient's thoracic catheter. The patient collection chamber has a total capacity of 2,350 cc's and is divided into two compartments, each calibrated in 10 cc increments. A self-sealing diaphragm is provided in the back of the collection chamber. 
use an 18 gauge needle or smaller attached to a syringe for withdrawing samples. Marking surfaces are provided on the front of the unit. Use pencil or pen. There are two metal hangers to facilitate transport. Replace the unit if or when it fills to capacity.